How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Series 8 is the next update for Horizon 5. It's just been revealed and in today's video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know. The full festival playlist, all of the new cars, the new Forza Horizon shop items, just absolutely everything. And then towards the end of the video I want to talk about something very strange happening with Forza lately and why I think something big might be coming rather soon. Now Series 8 doesn't actually begin until the 26th of May which is two weeks from now so they were, they were a little bit early telling us everything but here we are we know everything already so we're going to start with the festival playlist. The full series obviously the theme is German Automotive Excellence and on for the full series for 80 points you can get the Mercedes AMG E63 and for 160 points the Auto Union Type D. None of those are new cars and that's for the full series. Now on to the first week which is summer which starts on May the 26th when series 8 starts. For 20 points you can get the Porsche 959 and for 40 points you can get the Porsche 911 GT3 from 2012. Now there's no new cars in summer apart from the car pass vehicle and the car pass vehicle for that first week is the 2020 BMW M8 Competition Coupe. There is only one new car in summer and it's the car pass vehicle. Now we do know that this BMW M8 will have some kind of body kit that you can apply in the upgrade section. It will be the 850i's AC Schnitzer or Schneitzer, I don't know how to say that word, but it will have that set of aero body kit that you can go and apply onto the car. Forzathon shop for that first week has stuff like the Audi R8, a Formula Drift BMW 325i, a German cap and the Sea of Thieves horn. Not too bad. Here are a few other screenshots of the other challenges that first week. The second week, which is autumn, which starts on the 2nd of June. For 20 points, you can get the next new car of this month, the Porsche 911 GT3 from 2021. Quite a new car. And then for 40 points, the Mercedes-Benz SSK. Not too bad. Now the car pass vehicle for that second week, June the 2nd, is the 2020 Audi RS3 sedan. That's a quite an exciting car, I'm looking forward to that. Now the Forzathon shop for that second week has stuff like the Porsche Macan RR from 2018, a German top, Mercedes-Benz racing truck and a referee whistle car horn. Pretty cool. Here are a few other screenshots of the rest of the challenges that week. Now the third week, which is winter, which starts on the 9th of June. For 20 points, you can get the Mercedes-Benz AMG GT, which is another new car for this month. And then for 40 points, the Porsche 959, sort of the rally spec version. The car pass vehicle for that third week is the 2018 Audi RS5 Coupe. Another Audi, another German car, we get the theme by now. The Forzathon shop for that third week has stuff like the Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR, a German racing helmet, which is pretty cool a Rally Porsche and the Doom E1 M1 high car horn. There you go. Here are a few screenshots of the rest of the challenges that week. Now the fourth and final week, which is spring, which starts on the 16th of June. For 20 points, you can get the Audi RS4 from 2018, and for 40 points, the Mercedes AMG Project 1, or AMG 1, I should say. Now this RS4, very similar to the BMW M8, will have an aero kit you can go and apply, and I believe it, it is the ABT RS4R kit. You can go and apply after you unlock it. The car pass vehicle for that fourth week is the 1982 Volkswagen Pickup LX. Lots of people have been excited about this car. It's the car pass vehicle for the fourth week, as we already know. The Forza on shop for that fourth week has stuff like the BMW X6M, the Mercedes-Benz sort of 6x6, a clock tower car horn, and a German set of racing gloves. There you go. Here are a few screenshots of the rest of the challenges available that fourth week. Thank you. 
That's it for the festival playlist. Those are the seven new cars, four of which are on the car pass and three of which are on autumn, spring and winter. No new car in summer, which is a bit weird, but at least there's seven new cars this month. And of course, when series eight begins, if you go to the end of the festival playlist to the coming soon tab, we can see series nine, which is a little bit away, away about at the moment, but Horizon Academy is seen there with Horizon Nexus. We can still continue to speculate about what these two things could be. You never know. Now, very quickly about the car pass, we are approaching the end of it. We have almost been given every car pass car that we were promised, all 42 car pass vehicles. Series nine is next, and unfortunately, there are only going to be three car pass vehicles in series nine until the whole 42 is complete. Series nine will begin on the 23rd of June. On the 23rd of June, we'll have a car pass vehicle. The 30th of June, the 7th of July, that's it. The fourth week of Series 9 will have no car pass vehicles. It will be complete from then on. So yeah, car pass is coming to an end. Now, I don't know if you guys fully noticed, but as I said, Series 8 is two weeks away and we, will, we have already been given the live stream which has all the information in it. And I think that's quite strange. Usually, we don't get the reveal live stream until the same week that the series releases. This doesn't release for another two weeks, which makes it really strange to see Playground Games do the update so incredibly early. And what's also strange as well is usually there are two different live streams. Usually there's a Forza Monthly and a Horizon Let's Go. Forza Monthly is about motorsport and just Forza in general, and Horizon Let's Go is just on the Horizon 5 updates. They combined them into one this week, and we had just one live stream that was Forza Monthly and Horizon Let's Go all in one. So it seems like they're having some kind of schedule change for Series 8. Now whether it's just a one-time thing, or whether it means something, I'm not sure. I can't help but wonder if it's all related to Series 9 and the possible first expansion reveal on June the 12th at the Xbox Games Showcase. Because as you know, on June the 12th, there is an Xbox Games Showcase where the first expansion is possibly going to be announced around Series 9. There's just been a lot of changes lately with schedules and how the Forza Horizon 5 series updates and live streams work. And I don't know, it's just quite interesting to think about. Maybe they're preparing for something and they're trying to get Series 8 out of the way and done and sorted so they can spend a lot of time on whatever they've got planned for Series 9 in June. It's worth thinking about. As for Series 8 guys, that is pretty much it. The next update video you will see on this channel is all about Series 9. We might continue to speculate what Horizon Academy and Horizon Nexus could be over the next couple of weeks, but for the time being, that is Series 8 summed up. Series 9 is next, what could that be? I'm sure we'll know. Leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone, subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content, and I'll see you all later.